Wide Open Outdoor Adventures with your host, Dave Baltier. We'll make you a better sportsman. Subscribe to the Wide Open Sportsman YouTube channel today. Alright guys, on this segment of Wide Open Outdoor Adventures, we're going to fish this little tank right here, this little pond. It's just outside of Poteet, where it's Strawberry Pines. This little pond holds some great bass. Rod Bend in action, coming your way right now. Get a game plan here. I'm going to try the frog on this other bank over here. I think that's what I'm going to do. It's the frog box. Got to have choices, man. Choices. I got the frog box right here. I'm like addicted. I'm addicted to the frog bite. It's just a killer when they attack it. to say it but they, they may they may just not take the frog they may not be the top water fish on this lake all right guys let's talk a little bit about the top water and the crankbait that didn't work you know fish have to be pretty aggressive to come up and get a top water and they've got to be pretty aggressive to get a crankbait too um, so crankbait's moving fast and they've got to chase it down top water means they got to come to the surface so at the end of the day, they both were, you know, the go-to for some excitement. But I'm going to switch to a Texas worm, a long Texas worm. And uh, rig, Texas rig, rig, kind of like Carolina, so it's going to have an egg weight. I'm going to rig this Texas worm, this big monster with a curly tail, green with a metal flake. And I'm gonna put this little slider weight, so it's kind of like a Carolina, where it's got a, a, a weight that's on top of the hook, and it moves up and down the line. And then you hook the hook in weedless. So let me show you how I do that. I've got the hook already on, and uh, the weight's already there. So basically, I put this, I put this worm I put the flat spot toward me and I put the hook in and go in about half inch and I come back out and I come down and push it down the hook and there's a bent angle on, a sh on the shank of the hook it's bent there where the eye is and then I got a very small hook that's what I prefer on this, uh, this size fish I'm targeting here good five pounders maybe better and now I got it rig weedless so some people will pop that that tip out here and then put it back in I don't okay so I worked my anchor around this point as I anchored the boat and I, I believe that there's a hump I believe there's a hump down in the water to where it comes up so I've got several things working here we'll see if it has any fish on it but it can hold bait fish because I've got this point that comes out where this telephone pole is and then that, that point contend, continues into the water, and I believe there's a low spot and then a hump because I anchored in the middle and it was shallower than over here. So I'm kind of thinking that we've got a setup here that might be a textbook for holding fish. I'm looking for a depression. I'm looking for a low spot. Fish on. <laughs> Got him. 
Oh, throwing water in the boat. Who does he think he is? He thinks he's Mr. Bass. Oh, you see that little walk? He's walking. Right to the boat, right to the boat. Uh-oh, he's getting me tangled in with my, my, my microphone. Here we go. Say hello to Mr. Bass. He loved that worm. He loved that worm right there. He loved that worm right there. I'm gonna put a new hook on because this hook's getting bent. Tell you what, the fishing is on fire and wide open. These little tanks in South Texas hold some great fish. Tell you what, look at that hook is in the top section of his mouth. He wasn't getting off, but you never know that. So you want to get a fish in quick and get, look at that, and get the lipper on him. Man, this is aggressive, hard shaking fish. Gotta love it, man. Gotta love it, man. Gotta love it. Catching fish on wide open outdoors is what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Throwing water in the boat, throwing water on my lenses, throwing water on me. I tell you what, rod bend in action. Beautiful bass. Throwing water all over me, throwing water all over the cameras. I tell you what, the fishing is getting good here in South Texas. <laughs> hey, he came back for a little, little acrobatic action. Uh oh. Honey, I'm home. Here we go. Fish on. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh! Get out of that debris. Uh oh. Uh oh. I pull him out. 40 pound braided line. Debris and the fish coming my way on wide open. Got him. Uh oh. Hook is way down in there. What I'm talking about, beautiful, healthy bass on the wide open. You like that? He's bleeding. All right. Another bass on the wide open right over here at Strawberry Pines. Now, twice the size. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it twice the size. Ow! Fish on. Good fish. I'll get him out of that debris. Oh yeah. Under the boat. And you just let him, oh, taking line. Woo! Airborne. Good fish. Great fish. All right. Come on, kayak fish. Woo! Rod bend in action on wide open. Oh, he's hooked good. Just want to keep pressure on him. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Another toad largemouth right here, baby. That's what I came for. Woo! Nice. Look at that hook, right there, right there, 
Slack is the enemy. Slack is the enemy. Look at that little hole made right there. Right there. Any slack in that hook could come out. That's what I'm talking about. Good largemouth right here. There's a hump right here in the middle of this lake. I figured it out. There's a depression here. There's a hump right here. Comes up. It's a metal structure behind me. The bigger fish are on this hump. Yalla. That's why I fish. Oh, that's fun, man. That's fun. Let's catch some more. I don't think this deep's working, so I'm going to move over, try that middle zone again and again. That middle zone's probably longer than I'm giving it credit. I saw some metal structure. Could be an old, uh, kind of like a little island that they had made pipes and stuff maybe the maybe there's a dock on it kind of trying to visualize that it's real shallow in the middle of this lake and I think that's been critical for me catching these fish that deeper section on the drop and up on the shallow spot up on the ledge the shelf been good see right here I'm in about four foot of water I'm gonna get off the top of it Work the point again. Okay. Stealth is the key. I've actually gone too far. had some momentum wouldn't stop about right here Oh, there we are. Fish on. Good fish, too. Oh, airborne, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Up on that shelf. Oh, God, these fish are strong. Whoa! <laughs> this guy here is the acrobat, big time. That's the third jump. That's what I'm talking. Woo! Oh, he's trying to shake that hook. That's the fourth jump. Tell you what, good fish right here on wide open outdoors, baby. Ow! <laughs> Another great fish right here on the wide open. And look how he took that bait. I got to show you. I got to show you, because knowledge is power. Look at that. He took that bait all the way down his throat. So that tells you how he's feeding. It's just, bam, attacking the bait. Like a surgeon removes the tool. Great fish right here. Great fish. 
Caught some fish on the wide open. Look at that bass. Not a scratch on him. Beautiful. And I did get it out of there, buddy boy. I was worried for a second there. I thought, rut bro. Good fish right here on wide open. Caught him on that shelf. He's up on that shelf. He's playing around on the shelf. Look at this fish. That's what I'm talking about. Another great bass on wide open outdoors. That's why I fish. Shh. All right, wide open outdoor adventures fans. We're gonna make another circle, come back around, get out of this wind, use the trolley, put the anchor on the stern of the boat, get some more rod bending action. Thanks for staying with us. Fish on! Whoa! Right as this bait landed. Oh, jumping way out there. Woo! 1230, and the bite is still on, man. And this lure is on fire. Look at this acrobatic fish. You see that? Is that cool or what? Awesome, man. And look at these fish, they're strong. She's gonna tug it. Oh, pull that rod up under the boat. Come on now. You gotta love this. Look at this fish. You're not a monster. Oh, he's gonna take the rod out of my hand. I mean, a strong fish. Woo! Throwing water all over me. Throwing water in the boat. Oh, no. Don't get me tangled up on my shotgun mic. Actually, it's a pretty good fish. <laughs> All right, buddy. Aren't you ready now? Come be. Oh, to be on wide open. Man, good fish. And I don't just say that. Whoa! <laughs> My grabber came loose. Woo. How about that, boys? The bite is on. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Awesome, awesome bass fishing. Got my lure though, but that's all right. Because this was the end result. Nice bass. Got the truck on the hill and the bass in the hand. Come on now, strawberry pines right there. Perfect backdrop for the perfect bass. Look how fat this dude is. Ow! Bit my finger. Ah, he bit it again. Oh. He said, all right, enough of that TV stuff for me. I am Woo! Gone! That was a good bash right here. Strawberry Pines. Let's see if I can get one more with one of these used lures. I got two fresh ones to go. Why am I running out? Because I'm catching so many fish, and that's the go-to lure. It's this color right here. Here's one of my brand new ones. And look at that. Blue sparkle. It's a green 8-inch lure with the curly tail. They love it, baby. They love it. They love it. Hold on to your hat, boys. I think he's there. I'm going to set the hook. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Rod bend in action. Hook sets are free. He took that bait. Whoa, another jumping bass. Woohoo! I found him, boys. I found him. 
right here on the hump. Awesome, man. Awesome, right there on the hump. This fish took that bait on the drop. Oh, shaking the head. Shaking the head. One final jump before I put the pliers on him. Oh, no. I was wrong. Another, another shake. Oh, trying to climb in the boat. Oh, finally. Finally. I got him. Oh. This bass took that lure when it hit the water. I felt the thump, but he didn't do anything because he was swimming towards the boat. I tell you what, boys, I have found him. Let's get this hook out. Look at that little tissue right there. That's all it takes to hold that hook. That's all it takes to lose that fish. Man, I won't get tired of this. I won't get tired of this at all. Look at that fish. Sweet baby, sweet. Woo! A face only a mother could love. <laughs> My truck under the big tree over there. Come on now. You gotta love that. Big boy. <laughs> oh sure, he had to throw the water in my face. He did the jump, 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 and then on the release he goes the what whoosh at the Super Dave. That was outstanding, my friends. Outstanding, my friends. I don't care if it's a little windy out here on the lake. I'm catching some serious largemouth. Woo! Let's get baited back up, get hooked back up, get some more rod bend in action. Let's do it. Took the whole lure too. Might some good fish. Bite on blue, bite on blue. Right? Got it! Wide open outdoors, baby. Oh yeah! Good fish. Really good fish. Oh, look at that rod bend in action on wide open. Woo! Woo! That's what I'm talking. Good fish. Good fish. Son of a gun. That's what we came for. Rod bend in action, big time. Oh, that's what we came for. A great fish right here. Actually, my pliers came off, and he, the, but they're floating over there. <laughs> so this is, this has been an awesome day of catching fish here at Strawberry Pines. I tell you, it really doesn't get much better than this. A great large mouth right here. Good times, lots of numbers, big fish. And you know what? I hope you learned a few things because on today's show, I tried to show you how I patterned this lake. I learned the water depths. I tried different lures. It was totally, totally awesome. We'll call it a day on the wide open outdoors. This segment of wide open outdoor adventures was awesome to make. Kayak fishing has kind of taken me over. I love it. There's nothing like it. Probably caught 16 fish, landed 16 fish. Probably had another nine to the boat. That was fun, man. Classic. Classic. That was classic, wide open. Bring it on in. Thanks for your time. See you next week. Gotta love it.
Special thanks to our amazing sponsors. We couldn't do what we do without them. Just get out there. Visit WideOpenSportsman.com every day for your daily fix of adrenaline. You know, it's always wide open. <laughs>